Welcome Aquarius to your October reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Aquarius, I'm starting off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Aquarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with friendship and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what friendship is all about for Aquarius, please. And we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Aquarius, I'm going to take one more card here. I want to get some deeper insight into this message for you. The Eight of Pentacles. My dear Aquarians, what I am seeing here for you is actually very positive. Now, Three of Swords here is speaking to us of a painful experience you have been through. This could be a few weeks, few months, or even a year or two ago, my dear Aquarians. And for a lot of you, I do feel it has something to do with your pentacles. So this is your money, your career, your job your home, your savings, anything like that. Now, this could be, my dear Aquarians, losing a job, investing money, a member investment not working out, being lied to, being betrayed, having your money stolen in some way, giving somebody a loan and then the loan never being repaid back, having to move out of your home because the rent went up and you couldn't meet the monthly expenses. As you can imagine, this is going to come through so different for everybody. But what I do feel is that whatever it is, my dear Aquarians, it caused you to become quite caught in a way, not quite sure what to do. You had to pull back and review everything and take a look at everything. How am I going to manage it? Where can I fix it? What else can I do to make this situation easier? And for some of my Aquarians, I feel that this energy of holding back and trying to figure out what to do could have gone on for a long time. But my dear Aquarians, what I am seeing in October is that you actually have people around you that are very supportive of you. They love you, they want the best for you, and they are going to do their utmost to help you through this period. Now here it's presenting under friendship, but my dear Aquarians, friendship can come through in any relationship. You can be friends with your boss, your business partner, your siblings, your parents. Friendship is an energy. Now this could be one person, my dear Aquarians, or it could be more than one person that is coming through and they are going to help you find a way forward that you get out of this energy of being stuck, not knowing where to turn or what to do, and you're able now to dive in into a direction that is going to help you move forward. Now, as you can see, we have this little rabbit here diving into the grass. Aquarius, when we see the rabbit in the tarot, it speaks to us of good fortune. So we know that this is now changing for you. It's lessening, it's dissipating. And with that, we see the Eight of Pentacles. So, my dear Aquarius, in October, you're finding your way forward. You're getting out of this energy of, what am I going to do? How am I going to manage this? And you're going to find your stride again. Whether it is people coming forward and helping you over a very challenging period financially, or you manage to increase your income somehow, whatever it is, my dear Aquarians, you're getting your groove back. With Eight of Pentacles, 
I feel that October is going to be a month where things flow, where things come easy to you. And before you know it, my dear Aquarians, I feel you're going to be back on track when it comes to your abundance and your security. So as I said, this is a very positive message we are seeing for you. Let us move on now and see what number 43, Deep Knowing, is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what Deep Knowing is for Aquarius, please. And we have the Ace of Wands and the Sun. Wow, what an incredible message coming through Aquarius. Now, my dear Aquarians, deep knowing speaks to us of our intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy and hypersensitivity. So, my dear Aquarians, this is the month. You trust your inner wisdom. And you let your intuition be your guiding light this month. Ace of Wands is a wonderful card to see here. We see the hand of God coming in with a wand of infinite possibility. In October, my dear Aquarians, we see a wonderful opportunity coming through. Now it could come through with regards to your money, career and finances. It could come through in another area completely. This could be something to do with your home, with your family, with your love life. But Spirit is coming through, giving you something that is going to be very important and impactful in your life. Because with that, we are seeing the sun. And the sun, my dear Aquarius, is the most upbeat, positive and inspired card of the deck. It speaks to us of untold joy, happiness and positivity. So whatever this is now for you, it's up to you, my dear Aquarians, to recognize it first and foremost, and then to take it and to make something of it. Now, of course, as you can imagine, it's going to come through very differently for everybody. But it will come through in an area that is important and relevant to you. My dear Aquarians, trust your intuition. If it makes you feel hopeful, excited and inspired, don't even second guess yourself. Move forward because what is waiting on the other side has the possibility of changing things for you significantly. This could be the energy of meeting somebody, my dear Aquarians, who comes in with an offer or a possibility that changes your life significantly. It could come through by meeting somebody new in a romantic sense or your existing romantic partner when I'm proposing to you or asking you to move in with them. This, my dear Aquarians, could be the possibility of a new job, an idea for a second revenue stream. As you can see, the possibility here is unlimited. All you have to do, my dear Aquarians, is to trust that wise oracle deep within you. If it feels right, if it feels good, move on it. Don't doubt it for a moment, because before you know it, you're going to be living the sun energy. Wonderful to see. Now let us move on and see what focus on the vision is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what focus on the vision is for Aquarius, please. And we have Nine of Swords and Judgment. Aquarius, once again, I just want to get one more card here for you. Just want to see what focus on the vision is for Aquarius, please. The Five of Cups. So we are speaking about this energy over here. My dear Aquarians, this is a very interesting message and it will not resonate with everybody. 
But there is a possibility in October that you are going to let the memories of a past experience affect what is happening for you in October. Now, I do feel that this Five of Cups is very connected to the Three of Swords. And when we start thinking and reminiscing and going over what really hurt us in the past, how we were betrayed, how we were lied to or gaslit, and we go over it and play it out in our mind's eye, what it does, my dear Aquarians, it lowers your vibration and it causes you an immense amount of stress and anxiety. Can I trust what is happening right now? Look what happened to me previously. How can I trust people again? How can I trust myself again? And once we are in this energy, my dear Aquarians, we do not leave room for the new wonderful possibilities coming in. Now with judgment coming out here, this is spirit coming in and asking you now to stand up, to be strong and to acknowledge what happened in the past is over. Let it remain in the past. Let it go, my dear Aquarians, by focusing on what is happening for you right now. Because when you focus on all the good that is coming in and surrounding you, you will not leave room for this energy to creep in and affect you and lower your vibration. With judgment coming in, we know that it's going to take an enormous amount of courage and effort on your part, but you can do it, my dear Aquarians. Focus on your vision. Focus on what you want to see and bring about, because if you do that, my dear Aquarians, you are going to be able to make October such an incredibly successful, wonderful and enjoyable month for yourself. Very strong message coming through there, my dear Aquarians. Right, let us move on now and see what your spirit animal is for the month of October. Oh, goodness me. Okay, let's quickly just get that all sorted out. Right, let us see now what Aquarius's spirit animal is for October, please. And you have got number 44, Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. Now, my dear Aquarius, 44 is a very high vibrating number. So we know that this energy is coming in to raise your vibration to a point that this energy of Five of Cups, Nine of Swords and Three of Swords will dissipate completely. Your lucky numbers for October are 44 and 43. Any combination or variation of these numbers, please consider very auspicious. The panther is your spirit animal, so wherever the panther comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is, reclaim your power. And my dearest Aquarians, when we sit in the energy of Three of Swords, Nine of Swords and Five of Cups, we give our power away. We all go through pain and we all go through hurt. But there comes a time where we need to move forward. And this is why judgment is coming in. It's one of your many life lessons to be able now to find that inner Aquarian strength. Stand up, my dear Aquarians, and say, yes, I am ready. I am ready to receive good and wonderful things in my life. And I'm ready to let go of my past as I move forward. You know what you want to do. You know what you want to bring in. And do not for one moment, my dear Aquarians, second guess or doubt your inner wisdom, intuition and strength. It's time to reclaim that beautiful, powerful Aquarian power and move into Ace of Wands and the Sun. This is going to be a great month for you, Aquarius. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful month 
and I am sending you all so much love.